Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the project. Today is Monday, which means tomorrow is the day we go traveling. And I am so pumped up right now because it is literally, what are we now? We're like three o'clock in the afternoon, so we've got 30 hours to go. That is mad, it's come around so quickly now. But I just wanted to give you a quick tour of my bag, the stuff I'm taking. Everyone thinks that I'm mad for only taking hand luggage. But I tell you, I can fit so much stuff in this thing. Like, I'll show you, it's just mad. So this is the bag that I'm taking, it's the Osprey 5.40. I stuck that monkey thing on there, just, it's like a name tag, so I'm going to write my name on it in case anything really happens. But in theory I should have this bag with me at all times, I'd imagine. But getting into this, 40 litre bag, so it's hand luggage, which means I can just carry it on, not have to check it in or anything like that. And let's see what I've put in this thing. So these are my kind of toiletry things. I've got some anti-mosquito repellent, two lots of, how many milliliters is this thing? I don't know, it's under 100 either way, but yeah, 50, 50 mosquito repellent, whatever that means. I've got one of these VO5 matte clays, so that should keep my hair all right for a while. Um, these are water, water tablets, so it like destroys all the bacteria, that kind of thing. Many rehydration treatment. I assume these are tablets as well. No, it's like a powder. Okay, so powder rehydration things. So I'm probably going to lose a lot of water weight out there. Acute diarrhea relief. I suppose you get that deli belly, I guess. Uh, there's some neurofen, ibuprofen. So they'll deal with any headaches. We've already looked at those and we've already looked at that. This is a lip salve, so my, if my lips get dried out, that kind of thing, I can just put that on me. This is like my toiletries bag, so there's a mini Vaseline in here. The roll-on deodorant, that's going to save me having to uh, use spray deodorant. I'm going to take my little one, which my friends from work gave me as well. There's these little two aloe vera hand sanitizers, so that would be good if my hands get dirty out there. There's this little sun cream. I'm going to get a bigger one at the airport. I think this is like some sort of squash thing. So it's, I don't know if you can see it in there. It's like a, it's like a squirty squash. So it makes, squirty squash. So it makes the water taste nice, that kind of thing. I think there's also, is that? It's like an antiseptic hand thing. Some sort of thing like that. Whatever. Uh, this is a toothpaste, so a two-in-one Colgate whitening. Toothbrushes, I don't know if I'll take all five, I might just buy some out there, that might be easier. So I've got my beard trimmer and the beard trimmer charger, so I'll keep my beard maintained. There's my little deodorant from my friends at work. These are like resistance bands, so I can kind of keep my body somewhat in shape. That's what I was talking about in my last video about whether I'm going to lose my physique or not. Those are out there. This is like a little mini backpack. It's really cool actually. So it folds away into this little thing. I'm going to open it up and show you real quick. So here's this little bag come out. It's it's literally like a rucksack size but it's nice and lightweight. So I can just chuck my things for the day trip in there like my camera set up, the vlogging stuff, you know, that kind of thing. So that's out of here. So in here I've got this travel mosquito net. I don't know if I really need this, I probably do. Because mosquitoes carry some weird stuff and I don't want to catch anything to be honest. So I just sleep with this thing over me. Like, I'm not going to get it out because it's just impossible to get back in. So I've got this like travel wallet thing which has got my passport in and then the uh, travel vaccination record. So I'm going to put some other bits in here as well. So that keeps all my documents safe, that kind of thing. If I get any plane tickets, I'll print them and put them in this thing as well. So that's useful to have. It just takes up some space. But I'll be carrying it around in my hand anyway, so that doesn't matter too much. So moving on to my clothes now. I've got these pair of flip-flops from Super Dry. They're pretty cool. Um, yeah. So they're much more comfortable than the ones which have, like, the between-the-toe things, you know. So this will keep my feet nice and comfy while I'm out at the beach and that kind of thing. And I've got this fold away jacket, it's really nice actually, it's a lightweight jacket, doesn't take up too much space, folds away like that, nice and secure. 
I've also got this cap which is going to protect me from the sun, so that's all good. Now onto the main bit of clothing. In here I think I've got two pairs of trousers which unzip at the legs to create shorts. A pair of swimming shorts and a few t-shirts. So there's enough for like a week's worth of clothes in this bag. And then in here I've got eight pairs of pants, socks, that kind of thing. Which you don't really need to see all that stuff anyway, do you? In here is a microfiber towel. Again, like the mosquito net, I'm not going to be able to fold that back away, so I'm not getting it out right now. Because I don't want to stress putting this thing away, that's just too much to deal with right now. And that's pretty much all the clothes I'm taking. Apart from the stuff I'll be wearing, I'll be wearing like a jacket, which is this grey one. I don't know if you've seen it before, I was wearing it the other day. I haven't uploaded that video actually, so you wouldn't have seen it. And of course I've got my glasses here, so I've got my pair of sunglasses with their case and my old pair of glasses. I don't know if I'll take this hard case or not, but I have it there as an option. I might take a light, lightweight case instead. But yeah, the glasses and my spare pair of glasses in case something happens. That's the only reason I'm taking them. So I have this travel plug adapter, which I think you can use in pretty much any country. It flicks out like that, or otherwise like that one turns into an English plug. You know, there's all sorts of plugs on this thing. And it's also got USB plugins, which is very useful. So I can charge like, say, my phone and something else at the same time, which I'll get onto in a bit. In this little box, and it's not a box, a little bag, I've got a pair of binoculars. A bit dirty, you need a bit of a clean, but you get the picture. Right, so getting into the exciting bit now, all the tech I'm taking. So I've got three pairs of earphones in here. So they should keep me going. I have a track record of destroying every pair of earphones I ever use after like a month. So hopefully these last. My um, travel vlogging setup with the Gorilla Pod on it now. And of course my video micro microphone and the casing and the adapter to get my GoPro going. I'm also taking the telescopic setup as well. Just if I'm like out somewhere, I don't want to and I get a distant shot of myself, that kind of thing, you know? So there's those two out of the way. This is so annoying, as I, with my MacBook, it doesn't have proper USB slots, it's got the USB-C, so I have to buy this adapter and it gets really, really hot. So I'm gonna try avoid using it as much as I can. But what's nice about it, I can plug the SD card straight into the slot there, and my USBs as well, focus, yep. And then this is a SD card adapter, so I can plug that into the thing I just showed you. And then I think this is one of three micro SDs I've got. They're all 64 gigabytes, so a decent amount of memory. Now this is my memory card box. I've obviously got four GoPro batteries in here, plus the one in the actual GoPro. I don't think these two work for some reason. One of them definitely doesn't work. I think it might be this one, because it's... If you see that, it's lifted up. So that's probably pretty sketchy to use, so I'm not gonna use that one. These two, you can wait for a sec, because the thing, I haven't showed you that yet. And then some memory cards, full-sized, and I think, I'm not sure where my other micro SD is, it's somewhere around here, but yeah. Now this is something I've kept secret. I bought myself a graphics tablet to take with me so it's a smaller one so I can actually take it whereas my big one I've had at home which I've not used in a while I'll get onto that later why it's the whole Arbazar thing but while I'm away hopefully I'm gonna get the motivation to start up Arbazar again and hopefully some new designs will come your way those were the two wireless adapters for a uh, graphics tablet there was another one of the micro SDs so that makes two, plus the one in my GoPro. And I'm actually taking this Lumix camera as well. So it's a Panasonic Lumix, just to take some snappy photos, that kind of thing, you know? Just for an extra bit of content, maybe for the Instagram. I'll probably use my phone a lot of the time. And of course, our GoPro Hero 5. It doesn't have the side bit on at the moment. I think that's in the SD card box. But yeah, GoPro Hero 5, ready and ready to go, really.
yeah. I've also got an iPhone 4S, so this is a 64 gigabyte, and I'm basically using this to put all my music onto, just so it's not using all my phone memory up. And of course, the all important, our MacBook Pro 2017, this is where the magic happens, where we're gonna be doing our designing, video making, that kind of thing. I've got Premiere and Photoshop on this thing. So I'm good to go. This is pretty much my whole bag. Then just a couple of light chargers, my phone charger, then the, yeah, the charger for the MacBook. But I think that's pretty much everything I'm taking. I need to weigh this, but I will do that in a bit. So I hope this video has been insightful for someone. So it makes it look a bit less crazy that I'm only taking hand luggage. If you think all that stuff that I fit in, if I just wash my clothes every week, everything should be good to go. I've got a decent amount of tech with me, all the stuff I need. I just worry about weight. But um, there's another thing I didn't add into that kind of showing of what I've got in my bag. I've actually got 500 of these. So they're little circle stickers which you um, stick on to whatever. I'm going to give these out to people. But yeah, little circle stickers. I don't know if you can see the circles. They're only little small ones, but yeah, hopefully that's going to help advertise the channel, that kind of thing. Probably if someone like, watches this video while I'm out there, I've probably given you one of these stickers. But yeah, that's going to be all from this video today. Tomorrow... We'll have a quick video about me setting myself up, ready to go, that kind of thing. And then maybe a couple of days delay until I actually get to upload some more videos and content because I'll have to edit and I'll be traveling for like 20 hours, something like that. I still don't understand in my head how the time zones and that thing work. So Brad's going to have to make my mind realize what's going on because I'll have no idea. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.